Hi everyone, welcome in. I hope y'all are doing great. I am doing okay. Just doing a few last minute situations. I was washing dishes and then I scrubbed the stove, the oven out, and then I um, scrubbed the top of the stove. The eyes, I have a gas stove, so um, I was in it to win it at that point. Um, so... <laughs> What I thought we could do is just some fun, hang out a little bit. I have some adulting to do today, a lot of adulting, as probably most of everyone does. So I'm just trying to uh, get this camera situated. I hope you all are doing well. I am doing okay. Uh, let's see. Wrong side. I'm trying to figure out what we could do. As, as um, you know, as the days tick to Christmas, I'm tired of Christmas. I've never gotten into the Christmas spirit, so I do apologize if any one of you think that I am a Scrooge, because I really am right now. But nonetheless, we're here. We're going to do some uh, craft projects, and I want to just, I need to step away really quickly to grab um, some stuff. But I think what I have here, because I could not, we're not going to talk about why and how I can't get my act together, but, um, oh no, this thing spilled out. Oops. So let's go ahead and fix this right quick. Whenever I'm crafting and I use beads, unsafe, like, like I'm doing right now, I'm like, you know what? You knew better. You knew better. Did you choose to do better? No, you did not choose to do better. You chose to be silly and craft on a flat mat that's not going to suck or hold anything. But nonetheless, good morning. I hope you all are doing well. I am doing okay. I do have some Christmas errands to run. Um, we, I, I want to make a cake this year. Mm, I'm not a baker. I'm more of an eater of cake. But I want to make cake this year. Um... And we need to make some macaroni. Hi, Janice. How you doing today in New Jersey? Hopefully you're doing well. Um, I haven't been watching the news, but hopefully you're warm. There's nothing too bad going on there. So first thing we're going to talk about is craft supplies and how I always say I'm getting organized. And the more organized I seem to try to get, the least organized I am. If you're like that, then, you know, we may be uh, related. It's cold, but okay, oh, that's good to hear. Um, it's, I, I'm in Texas, so it's not, it's cold here, is, is there probably. Or, I mean, I don't know. I haven't been outside, I went outside, but I was, you know, like when your body is moving around, you don't feel the heat, I mean, the cold until you, do something that's how it was for me so anyway uh yeah i didn't feel it so let me use these tools really quickly i do need to go and grab one more thing before we get started but we're gonna make you know it is christmas time and people are still in the christmas spirit and even though i'm the scrooge right now organization is your downfall well welcome welcome i i open my hands to you come on in and share i could I could tell you that my problem isn't that I can't get organized, is that I overanalyze and overthink the organization, which is never good. It's never good. So uh, I just dropped the thing on the floor. Now, Hobby Lobby had these on sale for a long time at, this was last year, these, not this particular brand, but they always have these on sale. And usually it's 40% off, 50% off. And then this year it was 40 it was 50 percent off most of the year and then 60 and now it's 70 percent off so you probably won't be able to find any of these at hobby Lobby, but you get 24 so if you're into earring you know what that's the problem right that's really the issue um but what do you get rid of what do you throw away what do you keep right i have three projects that i normally craft with paper crafting jewelry making and i have yarn because i crochet and then I have fabric because I thought I was going to be a seamstress and make a bunch of beautiful quilts, blah, 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 blah. You see one craft show where this lady takes a bunch of scraps and wins the quilting award of the year. Like, I can do that. I can't. But I thought. 
<laughs> so yeah, uh, you can make 12 pairs of earrings out of here, or you can make, you know, a mixture. You can make some earrings. You can make some um, necklace focal pieces. You could make um, bracelet, necklace, earrings. You can get a few things out of here. But today we're going to take some green. We're going to make three, 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 three pair of earrings. Green, red, and let's do this orange. Because why not? And put this to the side. So there we go. Now, because I wasn't planning on doing this. See, and this is the only issue. We have gold. Do I have a silver one? No, it's all gold. I don't have my gold findings at the desk. I have silver findings. That's the issue. <laughs> That's my issue. I don't have all. It's like peanut butter and no jelly. Ham without the burger. That's where I'm at right now today. I am going through the nonsense of not having everything here at the table with me. And that's not good at all. At all. But we're going to make it through. We're going to get through it. And it's going to be okay. Because I have another project that I want to do. I'm just looking to see if I can find my um, glue sticks. Because I have a lot of little buckets that I put all my crap in. And, um, well, I stacked other crap on top of it because I was getting organized. And guess what happened? I didn't finish doing it. My crap mood is up and down all over the place. I understand that. My crafting mood is probably, in the, uh, I you know, I don't know. I'm excited to craft, but then I get like, I don't want to make that. Or I don't want to do this. Or I don't want to do that. So I tend to get upset with myself because of that. That mindset of not doing stuff constantly. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out what the glue sticks are, because I do have a, I have a few projects. You know, I always come here with the mindset, we're going to get a lot of stuff done. We're going to get so much stuff done. I'm going to feel so accomplished at the end of the stream when I tell y'all have a great day and see you the next time. And then I don't get anything done, because I'm always looking for stuff, but that's okay. We're okay. We're all right. We're going to go ahead and work on this project because I need to do something or I probably will go a little bit more bonkers than normal and then I'm going to grab my glue stick from the other side of the house and then I'll be back and we're going to make some flowers because I like flowers I get the men I get it the mine is over overzealous shoot <laughs> You know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, right? Until it comes to crafting. He's like, you're on your own. <laughs> and then you're like, why did I buy so much stuff? I don't need all these things. It was on a sale. It was a good deal. You know, all those silly things that we tell ourselves. The reason why. And, and I think for me, I know that it'll never be back on that price again, right? Like once you buy something and don't, if you don't buy it or use it when you see it, like it, it won't be back. It, it's definitely gone. Um, so like now I need some findings, gold findings that I don't have at the desk. That's okay. Is it okay though? Yes, it's okay. It's okay. I think we'll go with silver. At some point, I do believe that um, so we got these 
I'm going to put these together and I can have a red over here. Let's see. See, I have glue and scissors ready. Like if we was paper crafting today, which we may do later after I can't find, if I can't find my glue sticks, we'll end up paper crafting. So I'm just going to pull these little balls off of here. These may be a bit too heavy. So we'll have to see. But I do think being organized is better than being unorganized when it comes to creation and crafting. Today is Tuesday and I have to make about 25 cocoa packs for school kids. I cross for. <gasps> You're a crossing guard? Is that what that means? I love you. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. We don't have crossing guards where I live. When I was a little girl, we had one night. It was like, yeah. If that's what you do. I don't know. I, I'm assuming that's what cross. That is so sweet of you too. You have 25 more packs to make. And how do you do that? If you don't mind me asking. If I'm asking too much, let me know. So we're going to put these with this one. And then we're going to put these with that. So hopefully we can get these colors right. Let's go ahead and put these here for now. And since Christmas has a lot of colors, we're not going to even get too wrapped up in the colors not being right. But I'll have to buy some findings soon today. I have lots and lots of errands to run. They have to go to Sam's, get some bottled water. I have to go to the grocery store and buy food. Then I need to swing by the donation station. And donate some more stuff. I'm trying to get my closet from the size that it is to be one third of that. Because I don't wear all my clothes. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if you've made any resolutions or not. But my New Year's resolution is to not... I never make resolutions anymore. But this year, I just want to I just wanna do better to me. I want to be better to me. I'm always nice to everybody else. But not me. And I just want that to happen. So we're going to put this, this little gold bead right here. I've done Christmas shopping. Christmas shopping is over. I don't have to worry about that anymore. So then, you know, now it's just food. And I want to make a cake this year. So I think I'm going to make a lemon cake too. Um, not from scratch. Betty Crocker is going to save us, save the day here. And we'll go from there. All right. So we got this here. Yeah, that's my job. Since I retired from government, I make either envelopes or coffee cups using dyes. Oh, that is so kind of you. Again, thank you. I had a crossing guard in my life. Because I tried to run the street before. Not with the crossing guard, but in general, it almost got, you know, ran over. So we're just going to turn this to the side. Like that. We really don't need these little bells, um, but we're going to put it on anyway. Because I think this will look cute like that. I'm really into this connection nonsense lately, so yeah. And we're going to do them one, by, one at a time versus how I normally do them. A pound cake. Um, I I think that's what I'm gonna make. Um, I had bought a a, a wait. Is that the one with the little ridges around it? If so, I have I have a cake pan like that that I'm gonna make. Yeah, that's the goal. I think no one knows it but me. So lucky, lucky them, right? Um, but I want to make a lemon on lemon. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be so yummy. I like lemon cake. <laughs> and then I, um, 
and macaroni and cheese. I'm making dressing this year. I normally don't make dressing because my family don't eat it. Yeah. So baked macaroni and cheese. I'm not making it from scratch. Um, well, it is going to be from scratch, I guess. Normally what I'll do is I'll just... I used to, I should say. I used to shred the cheese by hand. Now I just buy the shredded cheese. I don't put as much love in it, I guess, because I don't shred it by hand anymore. But then I... um. They like sweet potato or candy yam, so we're going to have that. And then a baked chicken is what the big roommate said. I'm not sure. I don't mind making a turkey, but it has, it's going to have to be a baby turkey. And then um, baked beans, the bushes baked beans, the vegetarian baked beans. I normally get those because my son likes those. And then... I'm trying to think of what else. Mashed potatoes. I think he likes mashed potatoes. I don't know. I just don't want to make all of that junk. And then it's in the refrigerator sitting, sitting, and sitting. Nobody eat it. Do you start cooking early or do you cook late? Because I cook the morning of. I cannot be that lady that cooks throughout the night. Because I like to go to sleep at some point. So that's the goal. <laughs> I'm just trying to make this a little bit better. I don't have my three in one tool right now, so it's a struggle. It's a struggle currently. There we go. That looks good. I'm just going to flatten it. There we go. And then take this next piece and do the exact same thing. I hope. Maybe. There we go. I really wish Blue Moon hadn't went out of business. Blue Moon beads. I like their bead stuff. I have a few of their beads, but they have a tool that's really cushion. It's right nice and cushion. Like this is not bad. But the other one is so much soft. And I only have one. I don't know if I have one in the garage. I'll have to check at some point. So we're just going to do that and just trying to make sure it looks good. I always struggle with these, so I'm always like, does it look okay? Does it look okay? But it looks fine, I think. After I've told myself, don't, it needs to be nice and pretty, but sometimes handcrafts are not going to be as precise as I want them to be, and I need to get over it. Because then I'll just hem and haw about it over and over and over again. Like, that didn't look good. I also bought some of these from Mac McDonald's, uh, Walmart. These ear hook things. And I think these you can just put in your ear. It's our anniversary, Tuesday, but since my hubby went to Florida to his daughter, so... Doing solo trip. To oh, hey. Nice. I've been in Atlantic City once. I went to the aquarium. <laughs> that is my uh, thing. I like aquariums. So whenever we go places different, I was like, can we go to the aquarium or the uh, Natural Science Museum? I know that sounds very nerdy, but yeah, that's my thing. But I hope you have a safe trip and fun. I agree with you 100%. A lot of times people don't... These are heavy. I was going to say we could try to put these on this thing, but these are very heavy. So we we can make a bracelet. We'll make a bracelet with one of these green. See, we can make bracelets or even a necklace, but we won't do that today because I don't have my gold findings, but we're going to make some stuff today. Yeah. 
And it's a relaxed day, you know, nothing too stressful if people are getting ready. Because, you know, some people start chopping up their stuff a couple of days ahead of time. Um, I plan on turning up in my room and it's okay. Yes, just be safe. Please don't take any wooden nickels. And if you see someone following you, don't turn around and be like, well, who are you following? You know, go to safety. Get some safety going. Not saying that you can't hold your own, but it's probably not as wise to approach some weirdo who's been following you for X amount of time. I'm going to see if this will work. I've watched someone make these. I really wanted these two at some point. I was like, oh, I need those in my life. And then I got them, and then, yeah. Because I find these to be weird. Not in a bad way weird, just different weird. And the struggle. A good handmade project. Mm -mm -mm. Makes me smile. Let's see how this is going to look, though. That's cute. Go. I do find that mixing up some of the material is not the best, right? That's cute. See, that's the only thing. So we have to glue that down. Let me use some E6000. No, I have some jewelry glue just not at the desk. So that is that will be one project I have to come back to. I think that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. turning up what um kind of music do you listen to and um i'm being nosy now just let me know if i'm being too nosy how long you plan on staying just the weekend do they have good food there i can't remember i probably had some regular food i was a little bit younger and not as wise as i am now <laughs> Now, if I went on a vacation somewhere, I'd be like, okay, we have to stop at Pedro's, blah, 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 blah. Hi, Samara. You like it? Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, listen, I'm 73. Oh, old school. No nonsense. Native New York. So you're, girl, you about to be cussing people out, huh? Well, have a good time still. Whenever, so not saying this is going to sound real, real crazy, but every time I hear New Jersey, I only think of Wendy Williams and um, Whitney Houston, right? Because they are, well, when Wendy Williams was doing her TV show, she always said that she lived in Jersey. And then, you know, Whitney Houston from Jersey. So I always think of that. Now, I lived in Connecticut and I used to take the train to New York every so often. And we went to the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum uh, or Tussauds, how you pronounce it? I think it's Tussauds. Tussauds. Um, and then I was at the airport, but I just love see roaming the streets of New York, right? Here I am telling you a native <laughs> of the area to be careful, but still people pry, people pry on, um, people for no reason. And, you know, they may think that they get, getting a, a person. Let me tell you something. So the 18th was two days ago, right? I could not find any tools, any tools, because I was being dumb. So I ran to Walmart to buy some stuff, right? I ran and I bought this. I thought this was going to be such a fun kit to work on and make, et cetera, et cetera. So it's still going to be fun and, and all that good stuff. Let me tell y'all, these people insulted me. I shouldn't even bought this thing. Look at the tool, because I didn't have turquoise beads readily available, Look at what they put in here for me to use. What in the heck am I supposed to do with this thing? Once y'all finish laughing, let me know, okay? Once you finish laughing, look, look at me over here struggling. On the struggle bus, one. <laughs> they couldn't extend this down just a little bit. Exactly. What is this? What is going on? All kinds of food. I like R and B Latin and almost all kinds. I'm staying till staying for oh nice. So you stand there for crema. Nice. That has to be a different um vibe to have no no cooking responsibilities, no, you know, no uh 
stand up late. I don't like stand up late. I just said that, but I hate it. Like, I don't know how the ladies back in the day or whoever was a cook at that time was doing that mess because I get sleepy and cranky. No, ma'am, it ain't for no kid. It was ten dollars. You gonna hear from me, all right? Why the heck you put this little baby tool in here? It's a little baby tool. It ain't. I don't. What kid? Look, look, look at this thing. I, like this part is adult. Look at this. This is an adult part, right? This part, maybe this is a teenager, but this stuff right here, I would expect this little tool. But no, 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 no. They gave me these little bitty things. What am I? I'm going to get rid of it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the pile of get rid of. But I need it. I need not that, but I need I need to get up and go to get my other tool. So anyway, I went to Walmart to get the tool set. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, this is comic comedy hour right here for sure. Heather. Oh my gosh. How are you doing? Are you with the family yet? I hope you're doing well. You're safe. I talked about you last week. Bad. No, I just said I hope she's safe. Uh-huh. Oh, yay. I forgot what you said. You want them to call you. Oh, my stomach. Excuse me. Um, Have you been shopping? How's the family? How's the grandbaby? Did she already have a baby yet? I'm all over the place. Just tell us what you want to tell us or don't tell us anything. It's up to you. Um. Janice is telling us about her weekend excursion she's about to have. And I'm I'm not jelly. I'm trying to be a, a mommy, but I don't need to be a mommy to her. She got this. Overall, all, all the cooking decorations such our five grown children, grand mini grands and great kids are all over. The, yeah. If you need to adopt somebody, because I will fall in the preview of being your daughter. Um, you can adopt me if you like. And we can make arrangements and you can see your grandson who will be eight next year. And we can come and you can do all the festivities if you like. No shops. You have to be. <gasps> Congratulations, Grandma. Congratulations. I hope that, um, you know, she's doing well. The baby's doing amazing. You know, I was thinking about it. I heard a little baby cry the other day in the store, like a new baby, like a day old baby crying. It seemed like my son never had that. You know that little baby cry? This man came out eight pounds. So I think it was eight pounds. I don't remember how. I was so high. They had so I went in at 5 30 to have a baby. I wasn't dilated because I was a week early. He's supposed to be born on the 29th, but he's born on the 22nd. And um, you know, they broke my I don't know if they get I I think they broke the water first, then they gave me an epidural, and I started dilating, blah, 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 you know, the Pitocin and all that crap. And I got to nine and a half centimeters, and that was it. They took me to the uh, to have him surgically removed. I get in there, and the first cut they do, I feel, and I'm in pain, right? I'm like, ow. He's like, did you feel it, or was it a tear? I was like, I felt it. So I was so high, like my, um, you know how they take a picture of you holding the baby? Well, my um, husband had the picture and he was all smiling. You're going to see the mask. And I'm just laying there glazed over eyes to the ceiling looking like drunk. So this is our earring that we just made. Let me see if I can't be a little bit better at showing y'all what the heck is going on right here. I was so high. New grandson's name is Carter. Oh, he has red hair. So he's, <gasps> oh no. You know what? Um, Don H. Creates has red hair. She's a redhead. And um, she always talks about how people say redheads are, are evil. I never knew that until um, y'all told me just now like another another confirmed case of soulless redheads i love it though okay 
And look, I got baby tools for your grandson. You think you could use it? I thought she was having a girl for some reason. I just thought that you're that she was having a, a girl. I don't know why. Don't don't ask me why I made that up in my head. But congratulations nonetheless. I hope that um everyone's doing great. Oh, that's good. My son was a talker. He came out talking, still talking. Won't shut up. Be like, son, please be quiet. Son. Like yesterday, we left and the ground was wet. It was rain. I said, I need to concentrate. Because, you know, people drive crazy in the rain. You know what this boy did? I'm like, son, stop talking. Be quiet, please. So then he says, is shut up a bad thing to say? I say, shut up is not very nice. He said, you tell me to shut up. I say, after what, though? After, son, be quiet. Please stop talking. Can you stop talking for a little bit, son? Like, I went through all the ways of asking him to stop talking. And then we get to that shut up part. Well, shut up isn't very nice to say to people. But by that time, I'm like, be quiet. Goodness. I'm going to need some new fingers after this jewelry making session. Shoot. I'm going to get up in a second, though, and go get my tools that I spent $12.99 on at Walmart. Let me show y'all something. My cell phone. So Walmart is full of crapola, okay? Full of crapola. I, so what are we creating today? Havoc. Havoc, okay? Havoc. No, I don't know. Um, we're making some earrings, some Christmas earrings. Because I'm not in the Christmas spirit, but I thought maybe you all would be. So we can start off with the, the Christmas stuff, and then we can go to the Bah Humbug in a few seconds, okay? But I want to show y'all something, purchase history. So mind you, I am looking for tools. Because I didn't I couldn't find my tools. So I go to Walmart. Because you know Walmart has everything. They didn't have anything. They had one wire cutter. I was like, I don't need wire cutters. No wire hangers, right? Um, I didn't need that. So I go to another Walmart and they have this tool I'm trying to find right quick, which I can't seem to do fairly quickly. Um, I go and they, I scan the price and it's $19.99. Y'all know I'm cheap. So I was like, I don't want to, I, I scanned the price and it's $19.99, but it's also $12.99 in the, in the thing. So I asked the lady, I read the thing. I was like, you know, what is Walmart's, what is Walmart's uh, price matching policy? It says that it will price match if it's sold by Walmart, right? Well, no. The lady would not price match it for me. Oh, excuse my stomach. This thing right here, right? You see how it says twelve ninety nine? Well, it's nineteen ninety nine. And see, I bought it. It's twelve ninety nine online, not in the daggone store. And they were being petty, so I matched their pettiness and was like, I'll buy it. I should have bought all of them, but I didn't because that would have been real petty and dumb because I didn't need all of the things. I just needed one, really. So I ended up making a different project. Needless to say, I was not happy with them at all. Not happy with them at all. Walmart, they do some crazy stuff. So we're going to we're gonna make, we made two pair of earrings already. I'm going to glue these down. Because we can't have these doing this. Because you take these off, it's going to fall off your ear. 
for real. Right. And then we have these. And I was looking for my, I just bought some ear ring cards. Ask me if I can find them. No, I can't. Don't even ask. Don't waste your time. I'm going to let you know I can't find them. Because she's been getting organized. And by organizing, organizing is causing her to have more headache and stress. But these, I thought these were really cute. These are inspired from these that are on the card. Let's see. Very easy. We've made those in the last 30 something minutes that we got. And we're going to make one more pair of earrings. And I think we're going to just do these the same way. Because I'm not really feeling this loosey goosey stuff right here. Not at all. Um, and then we're going to cut some paper. And I want to tell you all that I apologize from the bottom of my cold, non Christmas spirit heart. I thought that I was going to have the same energy that I had with Halloween and I don't um I'm not in the Christmas spirit at all I'm making Christmas crafts just because you know it's nice to do it's good to hang out and I do want to create memories I can be like remember when I was not in the Christmas spirit I still made some pretty decent Christmas crafts yeah that's where we at right now I don't know why I'm not in the holiday spirit I'm normally I just push past it like if it was to call the holiday blues I normally push past it but this year, mm -mm, not so much. I think because I had in my head thought that I was going to get a lot of things, a lot of things more accomplished, a lot more things completed than I actually did. And so I'm just kind of like going through the motions right now. And it, it's not, it's not good in my opinion to go through the motions, but I'm just going through the motions to Oh, also want to show you this thing. And then we'll be done with show and tell. Um, but, you know, that's what I'm doing. So Hobby Lobby has jewelry making stuff, right? I think this Hobby Lobby. Yeah. And so look at these. Every occasion. Ear decor. I want to try this project and that project. Look at this right here. This is how my mind is. If you think this is crazy, yeah, that's how my mind is right now. But I want to try a few of these. We've did this before. Um, this is pretty easy to do. So they have inspiration sheets that you could try and use. And they show you how to do a few things. So this is really cool. Um, I like Hobby Lobby for a lot of the things that they do provide versus not provide for us. So, yeah. Um, but I do want to apologize because I thought that I was going to be... Um, that person that was like, yes, let's make, today is the 10th day of Christmas crafting. No, I've only Christmas crafted with you all on Tuesdays <laughs> and maybe one other project. I don't know. I do have some um, salt though I want to make today or tomorrow with the little guy. Um, so that's why, I, so this morning I was like, okay, let's go ahead and do something productive. Let's gather all the stuff. I was like, no. I want to clean out the stove because I had made um, sliced chicken breasts and um, cooked in Italian dressing, and it oozed out of the, the the Pyrex clear container onto the oven bottom. So I have to scrub that out and clean it because I want to put. I want to make. We're going to make fast salt dough. All oh, these are kind of heavy, so I need to keep this in mind. Um, I'm just trying to see if we want to put this weight on our ear. Let's see if we have another one over here. So I um I ended up doing that for the from seven from eight to almost from yeah from not to eight to nine because I started at like nine o two or three nine o two one o no not nine o two one o but yeah anyway um. You're going through crafting withdrawals. Oh, don't apologize. I think it's worldwide, to be honest, since depending, I think we're all underlying something. You know, my motto is to do it. Thank you so much, Janice. That makes a lot of sense. Heather, you need to go to the store and just get you. Uh, a, you ain't got no crayons with you? You didn't bring any colors? 
I'm shocked you didn't take colors with you. When are you going to be home? Not that I'm rushing you from the baby. The little boo-boo. But, you know, I'm sure you'll be home soon enough. And you'll be right back at crafting. You can hang out with crafty people. Your crafty friends. Now, why is this so much lighter? I don't know what's going on. Oh, ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a long time. But you can do it. And then you guys are moving back, right? You said y'all are thinking about moving back to the States. Well, not the Canada. I mean, Alaska is in the States, but you know what I mean. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to pull out four gold. Yeah, so, you know, I had told y'all that I was going to do that. You know, in February, it might be Christmas in February. I doubt it, but Virginia, nice. I lived in Virginia a while. A good while. I've been, I've been around the country a little bit. Not really, but I've been to a few places. A few places. This gold is gold plated because it just does not cut and snap and fly all over like the silver does. Did I tell you we lost a library book? We lost a freaking library book. I had to order the book again. Let me show you this little book. What a book at? What I do with it? Before I lose that. This book is made in 2009. So this is a used book. And I hope the library takes a used book. Because goodness. Now watch next week I find a book that has the library signature on there and she can have that one too but the librarian is really really nice i wrote a letter i said it looked like that book's still on a mission they still on a mission a top secret mission i don't know what's going on i i can't find it um what's the process so i'll probably take that in to tomorrow she said i love your sense of humor <laughs> I mean, what am I going to do? I lost the book. I don't have no room to, to argue about it. I think I paid 4 or $5 for it. And I don't have to pay a late fee. So, yes. The seller had put that it was quote unquote good. And I was like, what the heck is good though? I need it to be like new. It's not like new. It has some folded pages, but it's a kid's book. You know how little kids do. But if she don't accept that one, then I don't know what to tell myself. Uh, she suspended my account. <laughs> She's, I'm about to suspend your account. The last time I lost a book, the library made me buy a new book as a replacement. Yeah. I couldn't find any new books, though, for that one. I don't know why they make you... Well, it makes sense, but it's a used book. If it's been checked out more than one time, it's used. I don't mess with library books. I don't like losing stuff in general. So I try not to do that. All right, there we go. I'm hoping next year is a better year for everything. I had to pay for a missing book. Did you? How much? How much you have to pay? I'm hungry, y'all. Janice, I can't believe you're going to Atlantic City without us. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm 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 joking. I'm not serious, but I hope you have a good time. Oh my goodness. Is it snow? Snow there right now? All right, so we got these. I'm gonna split these open. We've made three pair of earrings. Jewelry making is really, really uh amazing. It's very fun. I enjoy doing it. So um, my goal, just so y'all know, I do have some, I have lofty craft goals for the upcoming year. 
I want to try and release at least from January 1st to the 31st of December 2023, 150 craft videos, 150 videos from this channel. Um, how am I going to do that? I don't know. But we can get it done. Because I'm in a few collabs. I'm in 3 on the 3rd, 10 on the 10th. Drew making it on the 18th, the end of the day, the end of the month video, and the stash video. So that's five or six right there. So that's six times 12. And there you go. You already have those amount plus the added stuff. And I have I have a fun, in my head, it's going to be fun. I don't know about in real life, but in my head, I have a, um, I'm mad at y'all. Look, this is clear. This is red. Y'all didn't tell me. Hey, you mixing it up. That's okay. I see. I see where we're going with this. Um, I don't know. I think that red probably would have been cute. But we're going to use this orangey yellow color. <laughs> you didn't tell me that I was screwing up something. We're going to put these back in. Hello, everybody. Just coming aboard. What are you doing today? Hi, Annie. How you doing today? You was trying to be on a cruise or New Orleans or Vegas, but didn't want to risk getting stuck in the airport. I can be... That's true. Um, Annie, welcome in. I hope you're having a safe and fun holiday so far we are making some earrings we're getting ready to transition to some paper cutting and um i think i think we're gonna do some stamping i think i want to do a little bit of painting but i i want to do something kind of backwards um yeah atlanta city is quick i hate driving so yeah are you taking are you driving or are you gonna take the train i will probably take the train But that's just me. I like the train a lot. Probably too much. Like I lived in those, if I lived in those areas and I didn't have a bunch of like responsibility stuff, like work all the time or lifing, I would probably go to those places a little bit more frequently. But planning trips is exhausting. Come on. I hope you're having a good week so far, Annie. I know it's just Tuesday. Today, Taco Tuesday. I may make tacos today. I do have a goal, though. I do have a goal to stop eating out so much. I want to try to reduce that by a lot. Because it's a waste of money. The food is getting, the customer service is atrocious, first of all. And the food is not as good as it used to be back in the day, for me at least. I was thinking this the other day. I was looking at some fruit. My son loves um, blueberries and strawberries. And I was like, this don't even taste good. But he loves them. I'm like, this is nasty. I'm like, did they do something to our taste buds recently? Are we supposed to just take this nasty food and be like, oh yeah, this is good? I don't like it, especially like it's not as sweet and juicy as it used to be. I'm gonna grow up brown, so I'm, you know what? That is always a plus. Ooh. I'm above ground too. And that's great. And I haven't thought about putting anybody below ground recently. So we're doing real, real good. Except for the lady at Walmart. <laughs> but anyway, that's a whole different story. Just rude. All right. So we've made three pair of earrings in under an hour. So if you ever consider jewelry making and you want to do something fun, fast, and easy, earrings are always a thought.
just make sure you have good tools, not this little baby pliers I got over here. You know, I always tell myself, oh, I don't need any more tools. I think I do need more tools. I'm not going to go buy any more, but I think like two sets is good. I have a lot of wire cutters and I have a lot of these, but I don't have a bunch of these. So I do think having like two sets of tools would be good. Anybody shop at um Burlington? I went there this weekend. Ooh. Hoo, 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 hoo. Not this weekend. Was it this weekend or Friday? Was it last week? I think it was last week. I didn't buy a lot of stuff, but I was so tempted. I bought a few things. Um... I'm trying not to buy a lot of random stuff. I need to practice wrapping beads. You know what? That is what I need to practice. That sheet of paper I just showed you, it has it on there. Some people wrap it. They're like, yeah, you just... And I'm like, who are you, ma'am? Because that's amazing. Or sir. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put this up. And we're going to cut some paper real quick I also think that we're going to have better planned live streams <laughs> so I may put it in a community tab I'm going to start trying to be a little bit more communicative with you all about things that for crafting at least um, this year I see bright lights and a grand time of crafting right I'm going to make it an effort to craft more. Buy less and craft more. Unless the stamp's on sale. And then all bets are off. But for now, craft more. We made three pair of earrings in under an hour. Like, that's amazing. And if I was doing this for like a craft fair or something, crafting is work. Yes. Well, you can go now, Heather. You're in the States right quick. Like, you can't stay at home all day. You have to get out and shop and spend your money. I'm just saying. I mean, you ain't got to, but wouldn't it be nice to do a haul when you got back? Like, this is what I got in the other part of America. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, not really. Um, so here we go. Let's see if I can't do this a little bit better. Because I can't find my cards because I moved them just a few minutes ago. So there's one pair of earrings that we made. And two pair of earrings that we made. And this is our third pair, but we need to glue this down because I don't like that. So we're going to glue that down. And now we're going to paper craft. So I just usually toss them over like that i need to remember to glue that though i can't just let that sit there and if you're wondering where i got those little bulbs from hobby lobby i i i can't tell you to go now recommend it to you because i went to try to find this when i said when they said 70 percent off and they were all gone all gone all gone so if you didn't jump on that thing like i had been saying the last month or so samara um yeah I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> if that wasn't a call out, I don't know what it was. Give me one second, please. We're going to be working on this. We're going to prep this real quick. Um, this I got this from Burlington for five bucks and it's 10 piece canvas. I thought this would be really fun to do. Um, so give me one second, please. Less than more than one second.
that is a great goal to um get better at posting your videos. That's a great goal. Um, you should have Tuesday morning, yeah. Uh give me one second to get my headset back on right. Tuesday morning, I have a Tuesday morning haul video that ain't there edit and then I'll be releasing it but I bought a few things from Tuesday morning um I hate to beg right I hate to beg for stuff so um I, I'm not gonna beg but I will say that I went there and I'm not begging right now <laughs> I don't need to say that because I don't like begging and I don't like people assuming that I'm asking them for certain things so that's not what I'm doing right now when I say this, so Spellbinders, and I probably would never use it, but like twice, but Spellbinders has this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gingerbread house box, Gable box thing by Becca Frecken, Franken, I think that's how you pronounce her name. And I have been eyeing this thing for two, three years now. Whenever it first came out, Spellbinders released it. And then um, I was like, ooh, I want that. And I went online to see how much it was. And I was like, ooh, I don't want that. <laughs> right? Because it was so expensive. And then I saw someone have it in a, a, a Tuesday morning haul video. So I scurried over to Tuesday morning. And they didn't have that. They had some stuff, but they didn't have that. So I'm hoping that... um it comes. I'll show it to y'all in a few seconds. And no, I'm not asking anyone to go look for it. I'm not asking anyone to secretly find out my address and mail it to me. Now, if you do, if you do find it, I would prefer if you could tell me the the, the number on the, the packaging so I can look it up. They did bring that back. They did bring that back. You just got to go to the website and see what it is. Let me go ahead and do a I'm just going to type in, talk in my phone real quick once I remember password. I had to change because the little roommate found it out again. Spellbinders gingerbread die. <gasps> it's on sale right now. I might buy it today. This thing right here. So I think it's $8.99 or $9. See how much it is? $30. But look at this thing. Look, I'm buying it today. I'm getting it, y'all. Look at this. Valentine's Day. Look at that. You, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I get off live, we're going shopping, apparently, and we're going to buy it. <laughs> Uh, we're going to take some white paint, this Snow White, yeah, Snow White, the ginger ale box. Yes, ma'am. So listen to this, y'all. It's clearance at 12, it's at 15. Are you telling me or asking me? It's clearance. Yeah, at first it was the last time it was thirty dollars at first, and now it's fifteen zero. That's wrong. Let's see. Yeah, so right now it's fifteen dollars, and I think I have some spellbinder points. So yeah, I'm gonna buy it because <laughs> I think it's twelve ninety nine. I think it's twelve ninety nine or eight ninety nine at high, uh, Tuesday morning. The only thing is, I uh, don't want to spend a bunch of stuff to get free shipping because you know you just walk in the store and you buy it. And you don't have, you don't have to worry about sales tax. You don't have to worry about sales tax and shipping. So that's my only issue with it. Um. So. Samara, this is more for you than anyone else, but everyone can hear this story. So Samara sent me a package, and I, I didn't open it yet. I, I want to wait for Christmas, because that'll be my real Christmas present. Because I've told the big roommate everything I want for Christmas, and the little roommate has been spending my money to buy me Christmas presents. So I know what I'm getting, right? So um, she had sent me a package, and I 
Hi, foster mom. I didn't know that I had got it because the big roommate is a man. And, um, you know, men, men, men are very interesting creatures. So, you know, he proceeds to tell me that I told you that the box was here, blah, blah, blah. So I had bought him two packs of devil cream cakes because that's what he likes. I don't like them. I don't like the whipped cream in the middle. Anyway, we're going to paint these white real quick. Um, and so today he was like, have you seen my cakes? I was like, what cakes? He was like the ones you bought me. Like, I'm supposed to know which ones he's talking about because they weren't where I had put them. I was like, no, did you move them? Because they're not where I put them. He was like, yeah, I moved them. I thought I took them with me. I said, well, did you? He said, no, I will remember eating them. Hi, Chocolate City Stem. Welcome in. Hope you're doing great today. Um, and I was like, well, I don't have them. He says, did you move them? I was like, why would I move them? He's like, I don't know. I was like, well, I don't have them. If I see them, I will let you know. He put them in my craft area where I craft. That's the kind of crap I'm dealing with, Samara, just so you know. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, we use these last time we painted as well, y'all, just so you know. And we're not painting to paint like a good painting we're painting to cover this up also i am doing a bob ross thing with barry crafty i'm putting it out there in the atmosphere she said she was interested if anyone else is interested let me know oh that's too much shoots let's go ahead and put this up i'm dangerous with paint if there's anyone that's interested i'm gonna probably google easiest bob ross painting to follow she's an artist i am a paper cutter so you see where I'm going with that give me some sympathy is all I'm saying um <laughs> I definitely should have put something underneath this I thought I was going to be more careful with the paint but no I wasn't um but that's okay we're going to make it work no matter what I went to Big Lots was it yesterday yeah yesterday um i went to big lots yesterday and they had cereal <laughs> buy one get one half off the same price in the grocery store they just made it seem like it was a good deal but i had cereal because i was trying to get home by a certain time and i had went in looking for something particular and ended up what did i buy two shirts i bought two peanut shirts one has Snoopy on it, laying on his dog house, and it says, I'd rather be sleeping. I got that for the big roommate for Christmas present. Um, and I got me one because I like Peanuts characters. And mine says, spread kindness. But that wasn't a Christmas present. I had purchased a, a fairly big ticket item a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, okay, this will be your Christmas present. Because, you know, a lot of people say that they buy stuff year round. They don't really, you know, if I want something, I'll get it when I want it. We don't really wait anymore because, you know, that's how we do stuff. But, yeah, I'm going to buy that gingerbread house, too, because I want it. I've been eyeballing that thing for months, <laughs> a couple of years. When they first showcased it, see, they showcased the, the house and then she made a, a companion piece to go with. And I was like, I want that too. I think it was a gingerbread people. Because we have a problem with gingerbread in, in this on this channel, right? <laughs> I like them. All right, so we're just going to put this here, let it dry. Same thing with this. Please don't get on my hand because I knew that was going to happen. I hope everyone's doing well. How you doing, Chuckle City Sam? When you going? Uh, are you going on this morning? Or no? So we're gonna set this to the side. I'll let it dry. Oh, it's a break today. Oh, sweat. 
You need some tacos, then? I make it. I think I'm. I think. Mm, I think I want to make tacos for for something today. I'm hungry though. So yeah, we're gonna have a great session. We got it all over our desk. Hands. Now we're gonna go on to this. I'm gonna make this for my uncle. His birthday's in March. I'm gonna make him a quick little book, really fast. It won't be fast, but you know what I'm saying. Because I didn't bring any paper cutting tools over here. But this is this was $5.99. Originally I got it half off, so it was three bucks. And this is how it looks. We're gonna get into it and look. I think I have a gable box die and several ginger ale dies I can use before I buy. Yeah, you know what? I I think I have two gingerbread. I have a my scanning cut. I could probably make it, but the gable box I don't have. I have one little tiny one that I bought from AliExpress. It's like this big. Yeah, so not a very good size. And it's not going to be a big one. I think I'm, we're going to make a card and this. This is cute, my lucky lore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not my lucky lore, though, because, you know, we family. So I think this is going to be our front piece right here. And then one. three i was watching youtube while driving not the healthiest thing to do right well i wasn't watching i was like listening to it um and i would look down occasionally at a stop sign or whatever and it's you know like youtube something's wrong with my youtube i'm not getting everyone that i'm subscribed to i'm not getting their content i'm getting random people's content which bugs the heck out of me but that's what i'm getting um so anyway you can't make a game box without that mm -mm, no i can't i'm not sure how you got where you got this faith in me at but i i cannot so i'm gonna take two sheets and cut at the same time And we're just going to make a five by seven. <laughs> uh, not a five by seven, a f A2 size. I'm going to make a fishing album, a little mini fishing album for my uncle for his birthday. His birthday's in March. I figure if I start doing stuff ahead of time, I could be on time for stuff, but I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Mm hmm. But that's the goal. My goal, like I said, I don't I don't normally do resolutions. I'm always trying to just be better than I was yesterday. But I just want to accomplish more. I don't want to be accomplished. I just want to accomplish more. Like each day I want to do something with a better purpose. So we're gonna go four and a quarter. And I'm putting two sheets on because this is some flim flimsy paper from uh, Paper Studio Hobby Lobby. So I'm just put two together so we don't have those trash edges like we normally get. I'm just going to clean out this tray. You know, one time, Janice, my friend, we were sitting at the library crafting and she took a sheet of paper and turned it into a uh, uh, what are those things called? A policy envelope. And I just looked at her in amazement. I was like, how the heck did she do that? And she's like, you don't know how to do this? No, I don't. She never taught me. Because some people don't like to share that kind of information. I probably could go online and find out the measurements and stuff. But I want that dye so bad. Have you ever wanted something so badly? That's what we have right now with that dye in particular i do have a few snowmen that i don't need um <laughs> the companion that she that they created with it so <laughs> but that one particular i wanted 
So we're trying to do a few things, Foster Mom. I am trying to capitalize on the amount of time that I'm with you all. I believe there's a notification issue with YouTube because I do not get notification from folks that ask. Exactly. I I only saw your video one time in this whole collaboration that we've been doing. I was like, what's going on? So I have to actively... And the thing is, I have been so wrapped... Did I cut that short? No. I've been so wrapped up in playing video games lately that I'm going to be honest, YouTube has not been like on the forefront of my mind when it comes to YouTube stuff, right? I've been crafting um, and playing video games, but mostly video games. So I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos. So I've been playing quote unquote catch up. And I'm like, I didn't know she did this. I didn't know she did this. I didn't know she did this. And I'm like, why am I getting this video of this person talking to this llama? Or like, you know what I get? I t promise you, it says, I took my duck to the Gucci store. Right? I'm like, how is this? How is this even a thing? Let's see. So if I click on YouTube... I click on YouTube. This is what I get. But when I go to subscriptions, I get a whole different list of stuff. So, I don't know. And scrolling through, I, I don't know. They got to do better. I don't want to find new people. If I want to find new people, I'll go out and date around myself. I don't need YouTube dating for me. I want to do that. I'll do that myself. If you watch Christina Craft Event, is one of my favorite non die non cricky user who makes awesome 3Ds. My favorite type of crafting. <gasps> well, Janice, you just dropped a crown jewel. Let me copy this and paste it somewhere. Copy. In an email, you could have sent it in the email. Email, I'm gonna put that in an email. Yeah, I'll look her up in the, after I finish. Oh, did I do this one wrong? Nope, five and a half. Oh, I was scared. I was shaking in my boots. Yeah, so today after I finish streaming, I have to. I want to go to the grocery store. I want to go to Sam's Club and I want to go to the 99 cent only store and then I want to come home and I want to put everything up and then I want to get organized because that is the goal to be better at putting stuff up no more bags on top of bags on top of bags that's the goal I made trucks, bags. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. I do like people like that. Like, you don't have a die cutting machine? No problem. I got you. But also, I just want that die so bad that um, you could come and show me how to do it. I'd be like, I still want that die. I still want that die, Janice. I still want that die. So please don't be mad at me. But I still want that die. I'm going to look her up, of course. But I still want that die. <laughs> just getting my paper trimmer i mean my um scoreboard see i am a little bit organized i've been putting stuff up and picking it up and and just moving things around eventually i have my little uh caddy right next to me i won't have to do all of that i'll just grab it and and craft but until then here we are Grabbing crap. <laughs> I'll look her up. I watched someone else do something. It's like no dies needed. No this needed. I was like, that is neat. Very neat. So we're going to make it one, two, three. Let's do four. Because he's not really going to know what to do. We're doing three, excuse me. He's not really going to know what to do with this. So. Okay, I'm using prefabricated envelopes. 
to do this with as well. So we're going to see how that works out for me. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Deb. How you doing? Hopefully well. Um, hopefully your week is going great. Hopefully everyone's okay. So we made all these for no reason. We're not going to use all those on this thing. Um, let's go ahead and get our spatula. So, you know, I, my crazy self, I thought we was going to be doing some Tuesday morning, I mean, some Black Friday shopping, right? Heavy duty. I looked online at all the uh, craft stores. I didn't go at all. I didn't look at Spellbinders, but I didn't go at all, right, um, to any other spots. And the one spot that I thought was going to really do some amazing sales was Joanne Fabric and they was like mm -mm, not today baby you're gonna have to come and buy regular priced items from us because that's what we're doing now regular price it, it was okay, okay sale but I was just like no you you you've done better we're gonna go ahead and pull out this green sheet of paper because it's at my desk and I think green will go great you know just think about a little bit of the muck and algae at the bottom of the the what is that thing called fishing thing i have been watching videos of folks using their die cutting machines to make jewelry i'm going to dust mine off it oh do you mean like uh fabric and stuff i'm so so was out and about to stay in doc appointment and now have so throat and headache was cold and when do you say i blame that yeah just drink some water orange juice Tylenol. Hopefully you can feel better soon. I'm going to make my uncle a book and a card. And then we're going to, we have three projects so far. We're doing some jewelry. I can't find my glue sticks, my hot gun glue sticks. So we can't make flowers today. I was going to do something fairly less stressing for me. <laughs> so I decide to half behind everything else. Five and a half. Because I didn't have all my stuff at the table. I was clean. I blame it on trying to be uh, clean. A clean person. I was cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> I was cleaning the kitchen. Four and a quarter. Yeah, Deb, I hope you feel better soon. You know, sometimes you just have that sore throat tickle and then it goes away like the next day. I hope that's what it is. I hope that's what it is. So we're going to be doing this. Now, a lot of people have made these in the past, and I'm not taking from anyone, but I learned how to do this from failing at making an Anna Griffin one. I figured it out because I failed at doing hers. So that's what we're doing today. As soon as I find my score. I will tell you all something. I am hungry. Yep, I'm hungry. I just knocked over a whole bunch of junk. Let's see. And my uncle probably would be like, what's this? Oh, no. Um, but I'm still going to make it for him because he goes fishing a lot. Yeah, I watch her a lot. Um, Sam Alcott, I watch her a lot. And she recently, well, not recently, you know, she has like a stamp set, some like professional stuff going on and she's still making regular videos i was like i commend you ma'am i commend you with all of my heart because some people get big and they forget where they came from and i'm not saying you can't forget where you came from if that's what you want to do by all means go ahead do it another person um recommends her a lot too is stamp girl here on youtube page she talks about her a lot um but i think i watched her because i was trying to figure out if people did their rosettes a different way than the way i learned it and 
Not really. Most people do it the exact same way. They just call it a different way. Like peaks and valleys, mountain folds, or cardian folding, fan folding, whatever you know you want to call it. It's pretty much the same. I am going to have to be really creative. I don't have my scoring tool at the desk. I probably do. It's probably under something. So I'm just trying to find a thin, thin, thin paintbrush. My um, son and cat have been over here messing with stuff. The, he will deny, but the cat sits in my craft chair like he's crafting or playing a video game. So we're going to go ahead and use this paintbrush. Um, we're going to do it every half inch. One, two, three. This is crazy. Four, five. And then we're just going to turn it over and rescore it so it's on both sides. Oh, Lord. Paper Posh Lady. Yeah, um, I'm subscribed to all those people except for the first person that you said. My... Only thing is, and please don't be mad, Janice. Awesome, is I am not a 3D crafter. Uh, I like to create 3D projects for people, but I don't like 3D crafts, right? Um, I feel like they take up so much space in your craft area that you're like, uh, what's going on here? But I like making them and I love, 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 love trying to make them. <laughs> All right, so we got one here. We got two. It's backwards. But I, I have, um, I think because I have space is space issues. So we got one, two, three. Do we have three? Yeah. So we got one, two, and we can just cut this thing. Three right here. Um, I like to mention it even on card a little bit, yeah. But see, in my head, right, I'm like, I'm gonna make this project, and I need to mail it out. And if I'm only doing a card, I don't want to have to pay seventy five dollars to mail you a card. Um, I remember I had sent somebody a Dollar Tree item. They asked for it. I sent them like four or five Dollar Tree items. The shipping was more than the Dollar Tree items. So now I always just, I'm, I try to be more mindful of what I put in the package. Because I used to try to package stuff really cute. Because I used to always say, I'm not good at packaging stuff. I don't do a good job at packaging. I'm not that good at packaging. I like to mention on cards. I just paid 99 cents to mail every Christmas card I mailed yesterday, which wasn't very many. Um... Uh, well, you, not to be like funny or nothing, how much is the mail now? 50 cents for one thing? I know some of you are going to get me, but I remember, look, back in my day, I remember when stamps was 15 cents and they went up to 20 cents. That's, you know, what I start remembering the price change on the stamps. And when I lived in Italy, I used to always get the stamps and mail postcards. I was a postcard mailing fool at some point. Yeah, the postal worker told me just two regular stamps on now. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, my mom, when they were 34 cents, she was like, you need to buy some forever stamps because they'll forever be that price. So I have some 34 cent stamps running around here somewhere. Um. But I, I, I used to buy stamps like every time I went to the post office at whatever price they were at. And now I don't um, buy stamps that often because of that. But 50 cents, that's so crazy. Did she give you a penny back there? Probably not. Just give me a one cent stamp. Yes, I'll take the one cent stamp. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind dimension. I just, I always get caught up in, is this enough? Is it not enough? Is if is it, 
you know, is it sufficient enough? Is it insufficient? Things like that. So those are the things that kind of make me worry that I'm not doing a good enough job for that project. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue these down. I mean, tape these together like this. Burnish it again. And now we're going to put it on these sides as well. If you want to use glue, wet glue, you could. I would just be mindful of how thick your cardstock is. Well, she put the ugly stickers on, so no money back. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time I had put some mail packaging. It's supposed to be quote unquote flat mail. And the postal worker was fondling my envelope. She was like, I was like, it's flat. And I had mailed out some media mail. She's like, if I open this, is it going to have any, like, you know, writing or correspondence? Like, it's media mail, it's a magazine. One roll of stamps. How many is that? Is that a hundred? No, that can't be a hundred. Is that the one with the hundred or is that just the twenty? Seventy dollars? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, a hundred. Okay. That's not I, I don't know. I guess it's not bad. Especially if you do a lot of corresponding. It's not bad. I don't know though. I feel like that's bad. <laughs> Cause it probably used to be fifty dollars or something like that for a hundred. I think as I've aged, as I'm aging and I you know, I can remember when prices were a certain thing, I'm like, this is crazy. I do understand that people probably say, I can remember when gas was fifty cents. Yeah, prices are going up in the year. Always, always. Now we're just going to take this and put it right here on this, right above the fold. Not on the fold, but right above it. Hopefully. We are using red liner tape, so wish me luck. <laughs> Chocolate City Sim, are you still there? I have a comment that I want to tell you last night. But I'm going to say it now, since we're talking about postage. Um, I think I got, let me see if she responds. Yes, when I started driving gas. See, 35 cents a gallon. When I started driving, uh, you do need to get a roll before they go up. You really do. I agree. When I started driving, I think it was 96 cents a gallon. I'm not sure. And people was complaining about that at that time. Because, of course, they remember when it was cheaper. I remember one time I went to the post office with my old, old, old stamps. And it was $0.34. Cents, and the man was like, this is an old stamp. Let me check and see how much this is. <laughs> you know, when I first paid for it. And he was like, you got a good deal. You only paid X amount of dollars, you know, X amount of thing for these stamps. I'm like, well, y'all set it up like that, not me. So, which, why, why are you griping to me? $70? You used to complain about 99 cents a gallon. See, yeah. I remember when I lived in Connecticut, and I swear, gas was almost $5. I was like, what all crisis are we going through now? <laughs> I was not happy. Needless to say, I was not happy. But um, not sponsored. But I use Walmart, okay? I have a Walmart membership from Walmart. And you get 10 cents off the gallon. 
to every gallon of gas you pay. So right now our gas is two thirty something. So I'm paying two twenty something a gallon. I like it. it. It makes me feel like I'm sticking it to the man, even though I'm not. But yeah, it makes me feel like that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut a a flat strip because I don't want this folding on here. Now, my, I'm not even complaining about the gas anymore. I'm complaining about food. Like we did this Black Friday stuff. They didn't give us discounts on food. Yeah, he needs them. He's smart. Eventually, these all this electronic stuff going to um, go to the wasteland. And we're going to be right back where we were before, right in cursive. Writing checks out. I mean, people still, I still have, a, I still write checks. So, like when I'm being extra petty with Best Buy, sometimes I'll write them a check. Because you're going to process this check, buddy. You want to be rude to me? Fine. Here's a check. <laughs> I'm going to mail it off and everything. And then, because I'm, I'm real petty sometimes, I'll overpay the bill. And only us older people will know how to write and pay. Exactly, exactly. When I was in high school, they taught us how to do it. I went to a business school, though, and I went to, I did career-based things. Um, yeah. My last employee job where I got paid to work, we would process people. And they didn't know how to sign their name. <laughs> and so my coworker would be just like, write your name in print and then connect it with a, a squiggle. I was like, is that what we're telling these people these days? Why don't they know how to write in cursive? What's going on? Then I get a lecture for questioning certain things. Now, you know, things have changed. And it's not how it used to be back in, you know, your day. Where people were halfway normal. But it's 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 gonna be an interesting time. The events will turn. All right, so we need six pages. Um, I thought I had said I wanted to cover it with this one. So let's see. One, two, three. These look like some pants, don't they? Somebody putting on some pants. So it look like to me at least. All right. So this is the front and back. So that's two. And then we're going to open up to this, this, this. And that's five. And this. I think that's enough. Hopefully. If not, we'll just adjust and add more. You know what, though? So you're right. But this is the thing. No one's writing. No one's writing. People are um, using their computers. People are texting. People are not writing anymore. So they don't know how to sign a name. Um, I don't have a... Oh, I do have a, a marker here. So this is the thing, right? So say the person's name is, I don't know, Ashley. They would just connect the letters like this. I don't know. I had heard, apparently I had heard wrong, that they were bringing cursive back. Well, shoot, you want to talk about writing. Okay, we used to do 10 minus 8 like this, yeah? Two. My son does 10 minus 8 like this and then he does a number bond so I have to learn this new found math to help him when he doesn't know how to do something I'm like just stack it they still teach it in Catholic school, which my granddaughter is attending. My son will call me on the phone and tell me he sent me a text. 
Oh, Lord. I love it. This is what the old people used to talk about. And now I'm the old person. <laughs> my mom um, used to always say that my grandmother used to say, just keep living. Just keep living. You'll see. Today I woke up in so much back pain. I was like, oh, no. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. It's all I could think. Because I... um. I had a wild hair up my butt and started um, cleaning, not just cleaning something, but like scrubbing the walls and the floors and all crazy kind of crap. It seems just not print letters. I don't get, you're right, Janice. I don't get it either, ma'am. But now I'll tell you when I first learned it, learn it, when I first started learning cursive, I used to struggle with those stupid eyes. Thank you so much, ma'am. But you know what I mean? Like, I still believe in saying yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am, and yes, sir, and no, sir, to anyone that's providing a service to me. And when I see older people or people that are appear to be older than me, I want to open the door for them. I want to do those common courtesies that some people are like, you ain't got to call me, ma'am. Oh, the heck I do. Yes, I do need to call you, ma'am, because that's what you are, a ma'am, ma'am. I'm going to change this and put this one right here. It is called respect, but people don't understand that. I had to write a capital Z yesterday and I couldn't remember the right side. Oh, well, that makes sense. Try spelling so sometimes, right? <laughs> You're like, how do I spell so? I just, I don't know. We use our technology so much. I was writing something. I wrote Happy New Year and Merry Christmas on the teacher's cards, right? And I was like, my hand is hurting. I was like, you know what? You're going to start writing again. Even if it's for like 20, 30 minutes a day. Because I'm not sure if you all know Ruth's Inkwell. Oh, a Z for cursive. Hmm. Left to right. Yeah. Mm-mm. My Z's have always been raggedy, though. Raggedy Z's. Let's see. Yeah, that's how I make a Z. It's probably crass, crappy, but yeah. A loop. Yeah, that's my Z's. I think I gave up and went zero and Zaro style. Nice. See, Zaro has influenced us to um, not write properly. <laughs> I love it. Makes me smile. This makes more sense this way, even though the lure is like this, right? That's weird. I still write in my journals and on cards and letters. I do not. I write on cards. It's just something like my name. Um, but I was going to say Ruth's Inkwell, she's a cursive, she writes fancy calligraphy. So I know she probably practices writing all the time. Um, but I need to start. I'm going to get, I'm going to do some art journaling soon. So I'll have to write something. I'll have to find some motivational words and write something down. Actually, brain is this close to what the internet said. Well, yeah. Uh, it is a Z, Annie. I mean, it's a... It's a Texas Z. I learned how to write in cursive in Texas. So. <laughs> it's not the best Z. Like I said, my Z's, horrible. U's and I's, crappy. But I mean, I could I could write a little bit in cursive. Just a little bit. <laughs> she said, I'm sorry, that is not a Z, honey. This is how you do a Z. <laughs> Oh, gosh. No, okay, my Z is a Georgia Z. <laughs> Let's just look it up. A cursive Z. I still write too, but it's rare. I need to write more. I don't have a lot of capital Zs, though. Capital Z cursive. These pictures should match. This is crazy, right? Come on, phone. Do us right. 
Not Target with the advertisement. Zed. Let's see. Not too bad. Hold up. Pretty dang good there. Zed. Um, but the V's and the U's, yeah, not my friend. <laughs> not my friend. Just burnishing this down. And so I changed this from here because I want to keep this pattern a little bit more open versus right here. Um, yeah, so this will work like that. And then we can put gone fishing upright and then we'll just do this. Oh, we ain't even got to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, the back. Come on. Let's get it together, please. Let's get it together. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Mentally, that's right. I don't know how it's going to look. Um, my son is home from school until January the 3rd or 4th. Um, yeah. So I was cleaning the oven. Let's talk about this fumes. Remember back in the day, people would die from cleaning because they didn't open the windows and they'd mix like ammonia, bleach turpentine whatever the heck it is that they had to clean and it would be super clean but the lady be laid out on the floor i almost inhaled too much fumes of the oven cleaner and i was going to do it cold but they was like you got to let it sit so then i turned the oven on i was like i don't want to smell the smell but it says no more than 200 degrees so i put on 200 degrees oh you just like this over some and i was able to scrub the tub yeah um, I was able to scrub that to I mean not the tub, the um the, the stove. Because I'm not sure if you all eat dressing. Some of you may call it stuffing. Um but I like dressing, but we don't camera, get it together. We don't eat dressing in my household. Thank you. She said, let me go look this up. Now, would your Georgia Z pass is the question, though. <laughs> I appreciate you letting me pass. My teacher would be like, keep trying, Brandy. Keep trying. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I hated learning cursive. I used to get in so much of a tissy about it. Because, you know, I told you that the U's and the V's, ugh, I hated them. But my mom left-handed my aunt left-handed my grandmother left-handed i think all the ladies in the family are left-handed and then my uncle is ambidextrous but i think he goes more with right-handedness my mom used to get whooped she went to catholic school so you know left-handed people are evil sign of the devil um and so she used to come home with marks on her hands and um she said my grandmother said what why your hand look like that? And she said the nuns were popping her for writing with her left hand. I said, so what she do? Because, you know, I didn't, my mom never really talked about my grandmother too much. But, you know, the times that she did, it was always very fun memories. You could just see how she felt about my grandmother. Um, she talked about her cooking, how great of a cook she was. People used to come and ask her to make food, and she used to make food for people, all the pies and cakes. My mom was left-handed, too, and also got smacked with a rule that she used her left hand. Not Catholic, though. Just depressionary. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. Um, so my mom said she went to school. My grandmother went to school, and she came home. I said, so could you start using your left hand again? She said, yeah. The nuns didn't say nothing to my mom to me about it <laughs> i was like oh well now thankfully i didn't have to worry about that um it's a lot of famous lefties though i am not one um you know famous means you're getting a lot of money but it's a, it's a few famous lefties out here in the world so we got this now we're gonna go ahead and make this little side piece and i think i want to do this right Yeah, so let's go ahead and let's 
This is two inches. One inch. Now I'm looking for a paintbrush that I can't find anymore to make my line. This is crazy. I got to get this together. Yeah, people, um... This too big. People really on that left-handed people are evil. Just like I'm not sure if Heather's still here, but she had... Congratulations to Heather again. She just had... Well, not her. But she has a new addition to her family. They have a baby boy. And she said he has red hair. So. I'm sure he'll probably get teased a little bit. That cannot be right. Is that right? I thought it wasn't. I just scrubbed all the butt off this paintbrush. So I'm going to loosely um, fold this. Loosely. I should have said loosely crease it. This just says man to me. A, a plaid shirt. Some buttons smell like they've been chopping wood. I don't know. I like it. Don't get me wrong. All right. It just it just says man. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're not gonna um put any glue on the seam. We'll put a little bit of glue right here, and then we'll put a little bit of glue on the edge. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I love that. You know, I've been looking for a quote-unquote duster. Y'all know what a duster is, right? Um, the old ladies wear it. It's, it has like two top pockets over the chest area. <laughs> it has a little frilly lace on the side. I want one so bad. I have a duster type of dress. And um, yes, a house dress. But I think it's called Duster. I want one. I um, had one, but it tore. But it didn't have the buttons on it. So, you know, you, you could wear like a robe if you want to wear it as a robe over your unmentionables. Um, I got mine from, hey, I wear my Duster house dress. I want one. I got mine from um, Kohl's two years ago, I think. And the material is just right. You know, that material, when you start wearing it too much, it starts to thin out in certain spots. That's where we're at right now. But I need another one because it's the material has started to get a hole, not thin. I can't be on the front porch with a hole. And I wear my pajamas to drop the boy off to school sometimes. So we're just putting a light coat on here. And this is art glitter glue, so you know it's going to dry quick. Burnish this down. There we go. Then we're gonna burnish this down. Check out. Check out woman within. What is that? Never mind, I'll just look it up. I have a lot of homework today. What is that? Is this online? What? Is this the secret club? Is this the handshake that I've been waiting for the last couple of months, y'all? Huh? <laughs> All right. Oh, catalog stores. Is that what we calling them? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and burnish this down. We got it. And I wanted to make sure the edges were down pretty decent. All right. So we probably won't get the chance to make the car because I want to go back to that canvas that we painted. Um, but we will be using some stickers. Let's 
I don't know, my mom was a catalog, a catalog shopaholic, so now I got all her, I get all her plant plus a few I was getting. Go. Hold on. I can't tear paper and read at the same time. Just go online. Oh yeah, I usually go to Kohl's and I like the, the material, like the way it feels. It's like soft. And so that's why I um, but I'll probably just go look and go shopping online and see. All right, so we're going to look at these real quick. Fish and tackle right here. Of course, it would be nice if you could see it. So my uncle is not a crafter. And it's just going to be a little book where he just t puts in a few pictures. Like he sent me pictures of his catches before. So um, it's just a little I'm thinking of you book. Nothing super fancy. And it's an album, not really a, look at me, I, I get a whole bunch of fishing, and I'm amazing. It's not that. Okay, so reel it in, I think we're going to put on this page. Actually, we're going to put this one. Okay, and now the front, I want to put, I'd rather be fishing, but will it fit? It will. Cool, I should make one of these for me. I have some picture holding some long fish. Yeah. So when you tell that fishing story, people won't think it's just a whopper. You get it? Ha, 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 ha. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. So when I lived in Brenham, Texas, we used to go fish. Up until I was about maybe 10, we went fishing and crabbing like all the freaking time. All the freaking time. And um, my little guy hasn't been fishing. He's seen fishing on TV, so he thinks it's like that. Like he plays Animal Crossing. It's a game on the computer. I mean, um on nintendo switch or nintendo owns it i should say and so he was like mommy i want to go bug catching he's afraid of bugs but he did it in the game so he we went to dollar tree this one dollar tree was a dollar store and not you know more than a dollar store and i bought him a little net because it was a dollar right and so he was running around trying to net stuff but um once a bug i said you're not going to catch a bug that's the game. You won't catch a bug, right? We're going to put the Lake Outpost Rods and Reels. This looks like it will go right here. Like that. And you can just put his information. Done. Quick little fun book to do. All right. And I think I'll just, I need to get out. I have some more fishing stickers. So we'll come back or you'll see this at another point when we make fishing are masculine cards i hate just using fishing because that's not all men do they can be gardeners they can be um all kinds of crafty person oh no no i'm saying you know how when you tell people i got a big fish i'm like mm -hmm. yeah tell me more and how how big was it oh okay yeah sure mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't caught a big fish. I fell down the stairs once um, and hurt my leg pretty bad. And my mom was mad. And so my stepdad, I wasn't going to say anything, right? Because I'm not, that's not who I am. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. But Lord, when he told her, she called me in her room. And I was like, yeah, what's, you know, like, what's up? She was like, he told me you fell and hurt yourself. I was like, I looked at him, I was like, you told he was like, I wanted to tell before you did. I was like, I wasn't going to say anything. 
he was like, oh, bruh, really? So then she, and I'm a grown, grown woman. She wouldn't let me go for a while. She's like, no, you're going to hurt yourself. You're clumsy. You're too clumsy to go. You can't go anymore. I was like, mom, really? I'm a grown woman. She said, I'm your mama. <sighs> okay. So it lasted like a week or two because he used to go fishing a lot. It was like right around the corner from my house. And I like fishing. Even if I didn't catch anything, it's something about being on the water. Fisherman's arms are always wider when showing how big the fish. Exactly. That's what I was, that's what I was saying about um, Deb being able to make her a little book and put it in because people are not going to believe you. But that fish was this big. It was so big. Me and Josh and Terrence had to... Oh my goodness, I fell in the water. And everybody looking at you like, that really happened. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, sure, that really happened. We're going to attempt to do something that we rarely do, which is clean up as we go. Yeah. I like crabbing, so my thing is just to take some meat and throw it on a stick and a string. And let the crabs nibble in it, nibble on it, and crab and get it like that. The big roommate always talking about he want to go fishing. And my uncle's like, okay, yeah, come on, let's go fishing. I'm like, you gotta get up early to go fishing. You can't you can't keep your hours of uh I wanna go fishing. Cause your hours of I wanna go fishing is late. The fishing came and went. They back watching TV. And I was like, that would be a trip. We have to stay in Houston, not go in the morning. Yeah, I love fishing. I love it. All right, y'all ready for the next thing? We will not be able to make flowers today because I can't find the hot glue sticks. But I thought we would try this. This has been on my mind a couple of times now. So we, um, is it still wet? No, it's dry. I had got these stamps, right? A while back. And you know how I'm a slightly addicted to using <laughs> stamps on canvas. So I thought we would try that. Let's get out our stamping tool. And since it is still Christmas, even though I am uh, lovingly called a Scrooge by some people, we're going to use it. Now, this is a photopolymer stamp. I struggle with photopolymer. It's from Woodware. This is a very cool company, in my opinion. Goes to Cape Cod Mass once a year and comes back with cool and full. Yes, nice. Very nice. Um... If you've ever been confused about a photopolymer stamp, a photopolymer stamp is the kind of stamp that refuses to do what you want it to do right away. Okay, and by that I mean it wants to tell you how and where and what you can do with it. And this one is doing it already. So, this is what photopolymer stamps do. If you've ever been confused, it sticks to the project ahead of time so what we're going to do is we're going to pull out this green sheet of paper that we used earlier we're going to put this down and we're going to use which is now my most favorite ink first and fine ink it's morning mist it's a gray color which is great because poet spice here on youtube had mentioned this before when we did the uh, house mouse collaboration because I had complained about coloring those little images and sometimes the ink would run. Yeah, you got to condition it first, Deb, unfortunately. But this does a lot of the conditioning for me. Um, but since I want to try this project out, I don't want it to be a big dud, a big failure. So we're going to condition it. Um, and by condition, you know, you just get it stamped up. Um, I was watching a professional crafter on tv youtube and they were like please don't take us a, a file and file your stamp down some people have recommended that 
Um, I may have tried it before. I'm not sure. I don't think I have. But now what I do is I just try to saturate all of the ink, all of the grooves on the stamp, like very, very hard. And um, do it that way. And even though we're not using this green paper, I still want to try to line it up as best as possible. Almost. Just a little bit of blurriness. So it's good. I'm going to do it one more time. Just because. Why not? So yeah, this versify, in my opinion, the versifying clear works better than the Momenta. I tried the Momenta before and it didn't work for me. This one just seems to have like a wet stickiness, not stickiness, a wetness that lubricates the stamp, if that makes any sense. Um, so there we go. A nice image. I could fussy cut this out if I wanted to and um use it is this this is pigment it's a pigment ink is it dye based or pigment so is it a, is momenta pigment or dye this one works great for me and photopolymer i don't know the other thing i tried the photopolymer on momenta and it was an unpleasant experience is all I'll say. Just inking up as best as possible. We have two just in case one fails. Hopefully it does not. But if it does, we can always paint over it. That's the good thing about some things. You can always just paint over it okay pigment is better for watercolor dye base you can use alcohol markers with what is i haven't had any issue with this particular color with the alcohol markers but i believe you definitely believe you um and i definitely take what you're telling me into mind. The funny thing is we're going to be using alcohol markers right now. So not too bad. Not too bad. It's good enough. So what are we going to do? Good enough. Some are now hybrids. I'm still experimenting to find a black ink that I really like. You know, when you find it, let me know. Because I want to try it out too. Now we're going to use these markers. Oh my goodness. This is what I want to tell y'all. So Nicholas has been getting into my space. So I have more cat hair than I would like to... Um, have over here where I'm at right now but Ross so I got these from Ross for 15 bucks um, but they have a hunt if you're looking to start off this is the gateway drug I'm about to tell you about Ross has 120 alcohol markers for $29 I put it on the table. I'm walking away. That's all. I'm just letting y'all know that that's, that's it. Nicholas did say it was his space because I didn't came home and he's sitting in my chair looking at me like, girl, go fix me something to eat. You're not getting this chair back. I'm like, Nicholas, you don't get up. If you don't get your cat behind up, move your cat booty, Nicholas. Get out the way, Nicholas. And he's still looking like, I'm not moving. I am not moving. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can... Oh, this is not going to work. Yeah, Nicholas don't move. And then my son's like, Nicholas, get out the way. Nicholas, you're in my mommy's chair. I'm like, he ain't moving. Um, I 
I did not use gesso. I used just white paint. So we're going to see if that works out for us. And then we're going to go over some of them with some um, glitter pens. Art glitter pens. I'm hoping that this works. I don't think it's going to work as great as I wanted it to work, but that's okay. I didn't bring the watercolor markers and stuff. Ladies, have a wonderful day. I have to pack boxes and go back to work. Have a good day, Janice. Please be safe and have a great weekend. Turn up, turn up for me. Don't pour it out. Drink it up, right? <laughs> How do y'all do for people to have little ones? Have or had little ones? How did you put your Christmas stuff up? Did they um, believe for a long time? Or did did you burst their bubble at a certain age? The reason why I ask you, because I have been putting presents. We put the tree up on Sunday? This past Sunday. I know I said I was going to do it earlier, but no. And we have been, I have been, wait, what's today? Tuesday. So maybe Saturday it went up, Saturday afternoon. I don't remember. But what I've been doing is the last couple of days, I've just been wrapping a few presents and putting the trees, putting the presents underneath the trees. Just here and there, right? And so I didn't wrap any this morning because I had a bad sleep, like I said. Um, but did y'all or do y'all put all the presents underneath the tree early? Or do you wait? Yeah, so this rubbing off. I think it'll clear fine. I think. So we might not be able to do this project today. I have to bust out my alcohol, I mean my uh, watercolors. Um, and then if you told them about Santa, did you put presents from Santa last? Or do you not do from Santa? One of my friends says that she tells the kids that they have to give money to Santa for presents. I told him that Santa, we told Santa that he don't have to come to the house. We get the presents that he wanted. Or that Santa brings like the clothing instead of the toys or something silly that I told him. I didn't forgot. Because this year I told him Santa not coming. I already sent him a message. He was like, you have Santa's phone number? I was like, yep. So I guess I'm just asking y'all, what's your lie? I do from Santa, Mrs. Claus, Rudolph Frost. I said I never put present out to Christmas Eve. We never tell our kids their gifts came from Santa. Yeah. I'm more on a so for this is the thing, right? Um did you say Rudolph? I love that. Um this is the thing about the um fat man in a suit right I don't want to tell or not tell what is or isn't because I don't want the people that are doing it at their kids school my granddaughter is almost 10 and still believes but I think she is getting suspicious maybe oh that's so cute so I don't tell him I don't say yes or no to it like if they my son I never say no 
that that this is not what's going on. But I never say, yes, this is what's going on. I kind of just say, yeah, okay, Santa, uh uh-huh. Does that make sense? I never say Santa, none of his presents have ever said from Santa um, under under the tree. We're going to see if we can't make this a, a nice wicked candle. This is a really pretty stamp set, in my opinion. Um, growing up the way I did, I knew it wasn't okay. No, no, no. Like, I just knew. <laughs> this is a pretty yellow knot and ruined it. But if he's delusioned by the things, then I want him to still stay that way. I don't want to take his innocence from him. So if he believes in whatever he believes in right now, I'm okay with that. I remember... I thought it was because one year I got a present that I know my mom had put back. And so I was like, you know, before I say this, some parents be petty too, right? Okay, Deb, some parents are like, this person that doesn't, you know, is not here all the time, isn't getting my credit. And the reason why I say this is because um, I was like, Santa does exist, blah, blah, blah. She's like, no. When you turned your back, I went and put it back. I told the person to put it back in the in the bag. She could have let me stay delusional, you know what I'm saying? But she didn't. She was like, no, give me my credit, basically. <laughs> All right, so we got our little wick going on. So this is why I was asking, like, what do people tend to normally say and or do? I don't really say nothing. I just say this year, I'm like, Christmas is canceled and Santa's not coming because you won't stop being bad. So he's delusioned by that only because other people are saying it about Santa Claus. I like the second green we use right here. And then we'll put this red, the one that we just rubbed all the words away. Oh, that might be too much. I think that if I had used gesso more so than that white paint and let it dry, like for real, let it dry, this would not be a half bad project. Yeah. Um, so, you know, he's into trains, right? I'm gonna make him a train book, I think, um, for this year. Cause he can write it in and stuff like that. We're going to try and pick up some of this green just a little bit. There we go. And, um, every time I go look at my tree, he's putting crap on the tree, around the tree. He's messing up the tree. So I asked him to please stop. And he's like, okay, mommy. Yeah, that looks weird. Um, so we'll try this project again. I think. Yeah, I love it. I love it a lot. I'm gonna have to stamp it out and use it. And it's big. I feel like you could use it for other stuff besides my nonsense. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a make a project makeover. I think the next time. When it comes to this thing, because I think we can we can use something on top of it and um, work it out. But look at this stamp. It's very nice and it's fairly large, just a large stamp. Um, so we did this project. We made my uncle a book and we made some earrings today. I'm very proud of us. We stayed on task. We got things completed. We did not do Santa Claus, but we did do two nice my son has messed with all of his teeth all the teeth that i'm supposed to have in my collection go he put one pack under his pillow one tooth under his pillow went to sleep woke up and started playing with it lost it he made one of his teeth fall out of school lost the tooth at school and lost the tooth at school if you catch my drift um another tooth he he misplaced and lost so none of his teeth do i know where they are that has come out of his face so we made these earrings i'm gonna get some glue 
probably some E6000 and just put a little tab right there. So this will be a, a free piece, but these pieces will not be. And I'm not sure how I feel about this particular wire. I got it from Walmart and it feels really cheap. Um, and then we make these green ones. I can't find my cards for nothing. I had bought some. We made green ones. And then I like these the most, the ones that I complained about. I like these the most, these gold ones. So that is our project that we have done today. I want to say thank you all so very, very much for hanging out with me. I've definitely enjoyed it. Thank you all so much. If I don't see you before December 25th, and if you celebrate Christmas, I want to just say Merry Christmas to y'all. Merriest of Merry Christmases to you. Happy New Year. I hope that... Um, Santa brings you everything that you would like. And if it's only just a good night's sleep and not burnt cake or pie, I sympathize with you. Um, thank you so much for your love and support that you give to me. It means so much. And I plan on giving you a lot more of all of this crazy in the new year. So I'll be back before the new year's over. I have a few projects that I need to release into the wild of YouTube that no one's seeing because the algorithm is jacked up. But Nonetheless, until next time, please stay safe, have a great day, and happy crafting.